This day was the best proof of how difficult it is to choose the right material. There were also high jumps at least about 10 meters. Okay, maybe only three meters. Spot check, Campo de Football, and we talk about why we don't like Levante that much. First, the day started with a trip to Tarifa City and after some waiting for the Spanish shops to open. Hello, well, let's get some package for us and our van. <laughs> we also received our package. Got the parcel for our van, Kion! <laughs> Unfortunately, not an exciting surf gadget, just a spare part of our van, Kion. Afterwards, we drove to the surf spot Campo de Football. Yes, we are at the new spot, Campo de Football. But sadly, uh, there is a height limitation here on the parking, so not possible for our height of van. Um, but yes, now we are by foot and checking out the spot which didn't entirely convince us. The reason is a height restriction at the nearest parking lot, a lagoon to cross and no obvious good rigging spots. So we went to our absolutely favorite surf spot in Tarifa, Bebo Beach. Finally arrived and off we go to the beach. But to be honest, we made good use of the waiting time in the city and bought the latest super cool surf gadget. An anemometer. Anem anemometer. <laughs> I don't know how to call it, but something like anemometer. How could we ring for so long without this little helper? Well, Unfortunately, it will turn out later that even this lifesaver couldn't save us from making the wrong decisions. But more on that later. Okay, what, but what do? does the wind look okay, like? So we have like 23.6 in the gusts and constantly like, um, yeah, 8 to 10. That's not. So for a change, you won't be completely blown away by the strong Levante like in the last few days. Hey guys, we are back in Bebo Beach and today seems like the first day of a light wind Levante. Uh, the water is pretty flat and yes, I think we are uh, going out on the big gear. Yeah, um, the biggest wing. The biggest wing and let's have a nice uh, free ride session. Yeah. Woo, we are stoked! Lena, aka our big air winger, started her session on the 70 liter Vayu Fly Air and the BSC 890 and Vayu Aura X in 5.0. And of course myself, Nadine, aka the wave goddess on the Vayufly Air with 55 liters, the BSC 810 and the newest wing from Vayu, the Vayu Aura 2 in 4.5. Unfortunately, we quickly noticed that the gusts were really strong and we could hardly hold the wing. Nevertheless, we tried to use the overpowered winging to achieve new jump height records. And as you can see clearly here, Lena was really close. Unfortunately, we don't have a height measure, but this can change quickly. We still decided to go out again and get the 3.0 wings. Changing the wings was on the one hand a good decision because the gusts were brutally strong, but on the other hand, 
the wind holes were incredibly difficult to handle with the small material. That's exactly the reason why we don't like the Levante so much. Because it usually bangs way too hard for us. Which means the whole car is shaking in the wind all day and all night. In addition, we have always experienced the Levante very changeable. This means in the gusts it throws you forward from the board due to the pressure in the wing. And in the next moment you fall backwards from the board because you have no pressure in the wing at all. Well, you shouldn't complain too much because the main thing is that you can surf, right? So here's a little summary of our Levante wing for a session. I hope you will like it. In my mother's a desert Run me dry on the tip of my tongue I can taste your lies How to measure the love you throw around I could never hold you down You're tall as the only But uh, today it's a little bit lighter than normal here. Um, so I think with around so 20 to 30 uh, knots, uh, maybe a little bit more in some gas, but um, enough for the 3 square meter Vayu Aura version 2, uh, which is a really nice wing. Um, but yes, when there are actually no gas, uh, it's pretty light. So sometimes a little bit small and hard to come under foil uh, with this small wing but yes it makes fun and um, yeah so I show you now the scenery uh, from the water so yes here we have last dunas it's a beautiful view Stronger, but yes, that's life. <laughs> Look at this! Now we expect the gas. Woo! So the thing is, uh, it's a little bit like a little bit surfing. When you're on a bigger sail, and then you feel way overboard. You have the strong feeling to change to a smaller size of sail, and then the big problem is when the gas are not too strong, you have like this dumpling phases uh, where you're not uh, like in the glide phase and it's really shitty so yes but now Nadinski is uh, back on the foil and we get some nice footage of her Woo! <laughs> and if you like to see here is that of the watch uh, it's not too fast today because of the waves but yeah. so nice <laughs> I love it
The wind is expected to change on Poniente in the upcoming days and we are hoping for great sessions next week. If you would like to hear more about our wingfall experiences, please give us a like and subscribe. So stay tuned and see you soon. Bye!